To place a video on your website, you can use the embed element within Brizzy. But there's also a dedicated element in both the free and pro versions of Brizzy for placing video content from YouTube and Vimeo within your site and on your page. Let's do that. Let's say, for example, here on this page of mine, I want to bring in a video. Let's close this and then we say edit this page with Brizzy. Scroll down to the section where we want to bring the video. I'll close out here. I go to my add elements over here and I look for the video element here with the play button icon. Click and drag it and I'll place it across the entire width of the block. So I wait until I see that thick gray line going from left to right and I drop it. And here is the video. Before I bring in any content, I'm just going to click on it. When you click on it, you see these four little handles. This allows you to click and drag the width of your video so it's not going to change anything about how it will display or the aspect ratio of how it will play all it's going to do is it's going to scale it down once you've scaled it down you can go to alignment here you can put it to the right to the left in the middle also remember the shortcut keys for alignment with any element you hold control command on your keyboard and then you use the right arrow on the keyboard and left arrow to cycle through the various stages of alignment Let's bring in a video. So I click on it and over here, go to the video icon. I'm just going to scroll down and then you can see here the link for your video URL. Let's start with YouTube first. And all you need to do is copy the URL. You can also use it from the share down here. Go back, click and paste it and it will bring it in very easily. This will display automatically in an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. This video is actually in 4 to 3. So if I put it in 4 to 3, it will display in 4 to 3. You also have the option to remove the controls for YouTube video. If I do this, let's first update it. View it on the front end. Scroll down. And now if I play on the video, you will see your controls appear here at the bottom. That's very standard. If I go back then and deactivate those controls, click, go to settings and controls deactivate, update that. Let's see how it will display now if we refresh this page. Play, no controls here at the bottom. Very simple way to remove the controls. Let's close out of here. Back in our page builder, let's look at the other features in this element. I click again on it and over here you will see up here you've got cover, which is like a placeholder that you can put in there if you don't want to use the video thumbnail. Click on anything, just use this crazy image over here. This is a 16 to 9, so we can put it back on 16 to 9. And this will be the new placeholder image for the video. Other functions that you have is styling that you can apply a border and then you also have a filter. You have to remember though that the filter is applied to your entire video. So for example, if I decrease my saturation, increase my brightness and then my contrast, this will be applied to my entire video from front to end. So only use this if you want to be extremely creative. You also have other options like hover options, which I will only recommend for people if you want to do that when you're hovering over it. Currently, we'll see it only applies to border and corner. And that is how you will bring in a video from YouTube and apply some other settings to it. Let's delete it and bring in the video element again. Go to add elements video element, drag and drop it here. And then let's bring in now a Vimeo link. Same thing, go to Vimeo, look for a video. Let's use this one. And all you need to do is grab the URL at the top. Then you go back, paste it. And there you go, same thing. You can reduce the size, increase it. And of course you can align it to where you want it to be. More videos here on YouTube. If you want to know about all the features and functions and elements within Brizzy, also check out the website at brizzy.io and follow us on our Facebook community.